Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to our channel where beginner growers come together to learn together. If you're new here, welcome. We do this every week, sometimes twice a week. So be sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss our next upload. So it's snowing in our garden, but amidst the frosty trichomes, we found something we did not want to see. So stay tuned to find out what that is. So, we're in the middle of flower and one of our favorite strains, the Cragile by Sofem Genetics, is beginning to show some strange signs. We are not talking about leaf deficiencies or anything like that, this is actually much worse. We found some nanners on our bud. And <laughs> no, we aren't talking about the fruits that we eat. We mean plain and simple, our plant hermied out on us. Yep, that mother hermied out on us in our tent. But guess it's not all bad because that gives us an opportunity to show y'all close up what happens when cannabis plants herm. If you've ever had a plant in your garden herm out on you, drop a comment down below and let us know how that went. And if you haven't, then smash the like button and let's move on to see what happens when your plant does herm me out on you and what you can do to avoid this happening. By the way, this video is sponsored by Mars Hydro. Be sure to click the link in the description to copy yours today. And just a reminder, Links to all the products that we use on this channel are in the description below, so be sure to check it out. Okay, so as we all know, gender is paramount in cannabis cultivation as only female plants can produce buds. These highly coveted flowers have the highest concentration of cannabinoids and terpenes, hence it's also the most valuable and utilized part of the plant. These purplish buds on screen are actually bagseed buds, which we grew and appropriately named mango because, well, it just smells like mangoes. Meanwhile, males and hermaphrodites on the other hand, these are less popular among home growers. In most cases, cannabis seeds have a one-to-one -one ratio of being male or female, but in some instances, cannabis plants can demonstrate characteristics of both genders. This is actually a plant's natural way of ensuring survival, and it's also referred to in the growing world as being a hermy. These mixed sex plants are further classified into two types, they're typically true hermaphrodites and the nano producers. Both varieties can self-pollinate and fertilize other females, which result in a mediocre harvest of seeded buds. So, it's extremely important to know how to identify early on for preserving and preventing its occurrence, because this is critical if you're looking to cultivate cannabis for consumption. First things first, male cannabis plants produce balls and female cannabis plants produce pistils. True hermaphrodites, however, produce both. Now acquiring seeds from a hermaphrodite mother plant will most likely generate plants with the same attributes. Some particular strains also have hermaphroditic tendencies. When grown in excellent conditions, they may not always display its bigender qualities, however, even the slightest stress can trigger the transformation, resulting in the formation of male and female reproductive systems on different occasions. Now this is slightly different from the nanoproducers. The nanoproducers are female cannabis plants that end up exhibiting male qualities during the flowering stage. These are called nanas due to the banana-like appearance of its small growths. These yellow or lime green protrusions crop up among buds often growing in groups like a bunch of bananas. Unlike regular male pollen sacs, these outgrowths can fertilize as soon as they emerge. So what causes nanas to emerge? Smash the like button and if you're getting value from this video, drop a comment down below and let's head on to find out. As we mentioned before, the Cragile by Sofem Genetics is one of our favorite strains. This is a beast of a strain that's used for most of their crosses and it's clear to see why. It's super frosty, nice spacing between nodes, it's a super fast grower and puts on size both horizontally and vertically. So if this strain is so special, why the heck does it keep on throwing up nanners? Well, the answer is simple. While genetics may exercise minor influence, the main reason is almost always stress. That said, any plant can hear me out when exposed to high levels of stress. In simple language, 
some strains are more easily prone to stress damage than others. Quite often, arising as a last-ditch effort to ensure the preservation of its genetics in response to excessive stress, a female transforms itself in an attempt to self-pollinate and produce seeds. There are many environmental stressors that can bring about Hermes in your garden. Let's quickly run through a few of them. The most common one is light leaks during the dark period. This is something you definitely want to avoid and look out for. Another one is excessive heat. This is also a very serious factor. During flowering, you'll want to regulate the temperatures in your grow space. Too much light is also an often overlooked factor. Plants can suffer light burn and become stressed. Shock due to excessive defoliating is also a concern. Some plants do not take excessive defoliation well at all. Now pests, pests are enough to stress out any plant. As well, nutrient deficiency and nutrient burn will also cause undue stress. Excessive moisture can lead to an increase in pests as well as stress and improper use of potent pesticides can stress or even kill your ladies. So if you happen to find a hermy in the garden, you may want to consider getting it out of the grow space so that it does not pollinate other plants. Some growers actually pick out the nanners if they're not that many. However, when there are nanners, they usually pop up everywhere. And bananas, they start pollinating everything in the area as soon as they appear. Unlike pollen sacs, bananas don't need to burst open to spread pollen. They immediately start seeding buds that are close by. The pollen can drift to nearby plants and pollinate them as well. If you have a major banana problem, it may be best to harvest the plants immediately and cut your losses. Seeds take some time to develop. So if plants start herming right around harvest time, you're much less likely to end up with seeds. However, if they appear at the beginning of flowering stage, with plenty of time for seeds to fully form, then you may find tons of seeds falling out your buds after harvest, and that isn't ideal. That said, certain cannabis plants will herm even if healthy and unstressed. This is a genetic trait carried by some strains and particular plants. For example, every clone of a previous strain which we grew, grew bananas in week 3 of the flowering stage. Under no stress, in multiple different grow setups, when herming is a part of a plant's genes, there's honestly not much that you can do. This is why it's super important to constantly check up on your garden for anything strange at all. It's super easy to miss, and it's definitely not something that you do want to miss. When we find a hermie in our grow space, we either isolate it, depending on how far along she is, or just cut her down. On this occasion, we had to cut her down because we did not have space to quarantine her in our current setup. That said, here are a few things which should help you decide whether to toss your Hermi or to push through with it. If nanners appear while the bloods are fluffy and still have lots of white hairs or pistils, then remove the plant from the grow room immediately because things will only get worse. If there are brown hairs or pistils next to the nanners on otherwise white buds, then these have already been pollinated. Don't wait, toss the plant and cut your losses quickly. If bananas appear when the plant is close to harvest, then either harvest immediately or pluck the bananas on site. A grower who watches very closely every day can pluck all bananas, especially if you only see them right near the end of harvest time. At that point, any seeds wouldn't have a lot of time to develop anyway, but plucking bananas is unlikely to be successful the earlier you see them. If you're already seeing bananas early in the flowering stage, then it's highly recommended tossing the plant as things will only get worse. The seeds will steal all the energy from the buds throughout the flowering stage. If bananas appear on any plant early in the flowering stage, toss that plant immediately. If the bananas appear when the harvest is only a week or two away, then you can probably get away with plucking them on site because the seeds won't have time to develop. So that said, Gromies, if you do stumble upon a Hermie in your garden, be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up if you find nanners. 
It happens to every grower, and now you know what to do so you're better prepared for next time. Although heavily seeded buds tend to be less potent and the yields may take a hit, a few seeds won't hurt anyone, and it's never hurt anything. Everyone occasionally finds a seed or two in their buds, and those buds can still be great. So we hope this video has been useful guys. Please do smash the like button to show your support. Drop a comment down below and let us know how you find this video turned out. If you've ever grew a Hermi, also let us know how that turned out for you. Don't forget, links to all the products that we use are in the description below. Be sure to check it out. Until next time guys, stay high and stay fly!